Come on. You see the moon? You do. That is the moon. <laughs> First time walking with her shoes on outside. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on, mama. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. You see the moon? You do. That is the moon. Good job. Come on. <laughs> Smart girl. Got it. All right. Look at woo. Going this way? Okay. Hey, Parker Peeps. Hey, hey, Parker Peeps. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video with Keeping Up with the Parkers. If you are new to the channel, I need you to hit that like button and give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family. During the day, we're all are normally super busy, whether that's working or packing our schedule with something for the kids to do. So at the end of every day, we like to go out on a family walk just to reconnect and spend that time together. When you have kids of your own, I feel like time flies super fast. It feels like it was just yesterday we were all walking around the neighborhood, pushing baby girl in her stroller, and now she's walking the neighborhood with us. We're gonna go get the pizza. You gonna go to daddy? Go with daddy. <laughs> After a full week of moving and grooving, Babe and I are usually burnt out. Thank God for places like Mellow Mushroom because tonight is pizza night. I called in our order at the end of our walk just so when I get there, it could be ready for pickup. And of course, I get there and it's not ready. So we had to wait a little bit. You got it. Babe, walking? Yeah, did have fun walking. Oh, yes. You got it? Mm-hmm. Of course, you got your seatbelt on. Mm -hmm. All set. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Where are we going? Pizza. Pizza. We're going to go pick up the pizza. Mm -hmm. All right. Forrest is currently in his independent phase where he wants to do everything for himself. And one of those things is putting on his own seatbelt. Y'all, we be there for 20, 30 minutes. And I'm like, baby, let mommy help you. And he insists, nope, let Forrest do it. So I let him do it. After about five minutes of waiting for the pizza, she finally called my name and the pizza was ready. And y'all, it looks so good. So we made it back home and then I started making everybody's plate. Babe was in the room feeding artist dinner once we got back and she was watching Miss Rachel on TV and Forrest wanted to watch it. So he insists that we eat dinner in the room and we were okay with that. If you ever want some really, really good pizza and some really good wings outside of Pizza Hut and Papa John's and all of that, Google Mellow Mushroom in your area. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So much about all the dinosaurs. That was awesome. Sometimes at a birthday, use noisemakers. Would you like to hear how they sound? You pretend your finger is a flower, like a rose. You smell the rose. Mm, now we're 
pretend it's a candle and blow it out. Let's do three of those. It feels so good to take a deep breath, especially when we get a little upset or too excited. Smell the roses, blow out the candle. Smell the roses, blow out the candle. Do you notice anything about this ice cream? It's really big. Yeah. And there are eight scoops. Uh-huh. And it has lots of flavors. Eight scoops. Yeah, it's in a eight pattern. Scoops. Chocolate scoops. After finishing our pizza and letting the kids watch TV for a little bit, it was time for bed. I took baby girl a bath and got her ready for bed, and hubby took baby boy and got him ready for bed. If you were to ask me what is one of my favorite things to do, I would tell you it's this. Just being with my family, not doing anything, spending quality time with them, and just seeing them smile and laugh and us just enjoying each other's company. After bedtime, I usually moisturize her down. We read one of her books and then I feed her, sing her a song, and put her right to sleep. I'm all dressed and ready for bed. Right. <laughs> now, I wish I can say that the kids are finally down for the rest of the night, but baby girl still gets up to nurse and I usually go upstairs and pick her up and bring her downstairs with us because there is no putting her back to sleep. But she'll sleep for about two hours, so that gives me some time to kind of unwind and get myself together. So I usually take a shower and just kind of relax at the end of the day with either my husband or sitting down and getting some work done. If you're a mom to one child, two children, three, four, five, six, seven, you know how important that time is at the end of the day where you can really just inhale and exhale. Hubby is sleeping, the kids are down, so I use this time just to relax, enjoy the peace and quiet, and work on some stuff for Hubby's birthday, which is next week, and baby girl's first birthday, which is two weeks away cannot believe it but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um just want to show you that like every other family that's who we are and this is our friday night routine hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the parker peeps family we